Welcome back to A History of the Navy in 100 Objects, where today we will be learning about the conspicuous gallantry of a Naval Academy graduate in the Korean War. Second Lieutenant Robert Ream, United States Marine Corps, was a platoon commander in the Korean War. The following background is provided by the Naval Academy History Department and Museum. On the morning of June 25, 1950, North Korean troops launched a full-scale attack on South Korea. The defenders were overwhelmed. Seoul fell in three days, and South Korean troops fell back to Pusan, where the first American troops were landing. In a daring move, General MacArthur, in command of the American forces in Korea, sought to cut the extended North Korean supply lines by landing at Incheon and retaking the South Korean capital and the nearby airport. By midnight on September 15, 1950, all of Incheon was in American hands, a victory gained at the cost of 22 men killed and 174 wounded. Before the enemy could regroup, Kimpo Airfield had been retaken, and the Marines were closing in on Seoul, despite stiffened resistance inland. With the trap closing as intended, between the Marines and the 8th Army, the North Koreans fled back across the 38th parallel. Sweeping along in hot pursuit, MacArthur decided to make another amphibious landing at Wonsan Harbor on the east coast of Korea. Disregarding the repeated warning of the Chinese, MacArthur ordered a two-pronged advance toward the Yalu River. On the night of November 25, 1950, both prongs of the American advance, which were widely separated by twisted mountain defiles, were attacked by the Chinese. Suffering heavy losses, elements of the 1st Marine Division, with the support of carrier aircraft, fought their way toward the coast at Hungnam. Every available vessel was dispatched to the port, and by Christmas Eve, in an evacuation comparable to that at Dunkirk in World War II, 109,000 soldiers, 98,000 civilians, and 18,000 vehicles were sea-lifted to Pusan. It was in the drive toward the Yalu River that 2nd Lieutenant Robert Reams' unit came under heavy rifle and grenade attack. 2nd Lieutenant Ream was awarded the Medal of Honor for sacrificing himself to save his comrades. We are joined by Mr. Jim Cheevers, the former curator at the Naval Academy Museum, for details on 2nd Lieutenant Ream. This Medal of Honor uh, was earned by 2nd Lieutenant Robert Reams Naval Academy class of 1948. Uh, during the Korean War, uh, he was in the 7th Marines, um, 1st Marine Division, as a platoon commander. And uh, unfortunately, a hand grenade was thrown into the middle of his unit. And um, like a brave soul, he threw himself on the hand grenade and saved his platoon. Um, so. This Medal of Honor was given to his family posthumously, and they were just thrilled when they found out that it could be exhibited at the Naval Academy Museum and influence our future uh, Marine leaders that are educated at the U.S. Naval Academy. The retreat of the United Nations forces stabilized roughly along the 38th parallel, and by the spring of 1951, the war had stalemated along the line. Truce talks began on July 10, 1951, but a formal truce and terms for the return of prisoners were not completed for more than two years. Second Lieutenant Reams' sacrifice for his men is a shining example of the character and bravery that runs so deep in the Naval Service. Take a visit to the U.S. Naval Academy Museum to see Second Lieutenant Reams' Medal of Honor and learn more about the stories of sacrifice. Thank you for joining us today on a history of the Navy in 100 objects.